Welcome back to Why in the Morning, and this is Y254. My name is uh, Senior Comrade Oguda Bradley Sankara Kayesu, and I am here to, for man talk. Fortunately, it's not absolute man thing because there's no man without a lady. And I'm going to give you very quick statistics here. I'm telling you that the topic we are going to discuss today is uh, how to relate with the extramarital tall kids. That's for men because it's man talk today. And I'm going to give you very quick statistics here that uh, there are about 15 million kids that are not connected to their fathers now, that are raised without a father as we talk now, that is in Kenya alone. And uh, again, is that only 33% of those mothers who are raising kids on their own are uh, employed, uh, only 33 are employed. Then the rest, uh, 60, what, 69% are not, are not employed at all. So they don't have, they don't have how to raise up those kids. And then 63% of the children suicides come from homes without a father. 63, a whooping 63% of suicide, like child suicide, child who commit suicide are from homes without a father. And again, 90% of children who run from home to the streets, 90% are from homes without a father. And then kids who grow up in homes without dads are 20 times more likely to end up in jail. It means uh, one in 20. Only one in 20 of those who are in jail right now are from the background of father and mother. The rest are from the background where there's only one mom, there's only mom raising them up. So there's a problem with fatherhood in this country and that's why I'm here and we are here with the comrades to discuss this fatherhood thing on how to relate with kids that are got outside married. With me to help demystify this are two people. I don't want to call them gentlemen because this is a lady and a gentleman. So we are going to start with uh, Janet, who is going to comprehensively introduce herself. Welcome, Janet. Thank you. My name is Janet Musolo, HRH Janet Michaels on every social media platform, and I am a media personality. What is HR? HR is <laughs> Her Royal Highness. Oh, yes. wow. I'm royalty. You are a queen. <laughs> <laughs> Did yeah. you say your social media handles? Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. H Can H you repeat? H. Janet Michaels. <coughs> okay. Everywhere. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome to this show. Thank You're you. You're going to help us know what happens with the fathers because you've related with them. Yes, true. Yeah. And then on my extreme right is uh, one... You're going to introduce yourself. Yes, yes, I know yes. you, but I want you to pronounce it better than I can. Okay. Um, a good morning. My name is Byron Yakoi. I'm a senior student at University of Nairobi. Um, my, my social media handles are Byron underscore Nyakoi. Facebook, Byron Nyakoi. Yeah. What do you do, Byron? Uh, Right now, yeah, you said you you've said you are a senior I trade, student. Yes, yes. Yes. Um, I studied um finance at the University of Nairobi. That's bachelor, uh, bachelor of commerce. So finance. do you practice? So at the moment, what I do is crypto. I do crypto, you know, business. Crypto. crypto what trading, is crypto business? Cryptocurrency. The bitcoins, BTC, uh, oh. Ethereum, Doge coins. Uh, yeah, that's. So we are here to market. talk about this uh, fatherhood. Absence fatherhood, I yes. can call it so. Yes, yes. Uh, what is your take on it? We just start with you, the absence fatherhood. I thank you, thank you for that. Um, so when you're talking about extramarital, um, that is what that was our topic today. Yeah. Mm. Uh, fatherhood. First, first, uh, first thing that I want to let people know is that a father is a very important figure yes. in a family and in the life of a child. Mm. So with the absence of his father, mm. if I may start the show, um, it causes some, you know, mis uh, misbehavior in the, in the kids, mm -hmm. especially when you're raising boys. Mm. You know, when you're raising boys, you need a father. When, we, when the kids get to puberty, they need somebody who, who help them tone down. But you know, when it's just the mother raising them, you know, sometimes the, when you're in puberty, you may tend to think that now you're even stronger than the mother when you're a guy. Mm. You know, your mother will be emotionally weak to handle you. Mm. But when the father is in the house, the voice alone will, will bring you down. <laughs> the so, roaring alone. Yeah, the roaring alone. Uh, the voice. So uh, I still think uh, 
not just a think, but I, it's really important that a father figure exists in a in a bring of a, a kid. Janet uh, Nyako is saying that that roaring voice of a man does something in the life of a child <laughs> and is stressing, stressing it on a, 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 a boy, boy child. child. Boy child. Yeah. yeah, it's more on a boy child. Give us your whole overview of absent fatherhood. It's true, a father should be part and parcel of the ro in, the, in the role making of a boy because you see, women are not as, we are not the same as men. Mm -hmm. Me, I can, I can direct my girl child how I want her to become mm -hmm. the way I was taught with my mom. But when it comes to boys, there are some changes. Maybe, you see, you need to, to talk to your dad what's happening in my, in my upcoming, you see, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is important, it that, is important uh, that a dad is that there. Both parents yes. are there. Both parents. Yes, a, yeah. a dad and a mom. Plus, you, know, they you are need to <laughs> love your children. Mm. Then at, at in school, the, the, maybe the boy will start seeing the others have, bo they have parents both sides, but him, he's lacking one, one parent. You know, there are also situations where the, there is only, also the lonely dad and there is no mom, and that is more problematic. Eh? So mm -hmm. it's important that... For the, both parents to be there. For both parents for to parents. be there. Yeah, true. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, Brian, back to you. Yes. Are you Brian or Byron? Byron. Yes. Byron, sorry. I have oh, a twin oh, called oh. Brian, so <laughs> I, I do accept Brian or Byron. Oh, you're a yes. twin. Yes, yes. Byron and Brian. Yes. That's yes. interesting. Tell us situations you think lead to this manners that we have now mm. of absentee fatherhood. Yeah. Yes. Uh, first of all, we'll start with the influence from the Western countries mm -hmm. that is so eminent in, uh, in our third world countries, as you can see. You see, most of us, especially Kenyans, tend to really copy a lot of things that happen in the United States mm -hmm. from the movies we watch and from the lifestyle that they lead. Um, it's very common that single parenthood, this is something that was not so common in our African setup. Yes. Because even for a lady to, to get married, mm -hmm. she, I mean the aunts even ensure that this lady has not gone to bed with any, any other man, mm -hmm. yeah. unlike uh, our situation nowadays. Mm -hmm. But you see, the culture that, that has come with it that a lady can, a lady, a lady feels she's independent and she cannot do without a man. So the only thing that she needs is a, is a child and that's all because she has a career. And so I think, first of all, as I said, it's an influence from the Western culture. That is mm. evident. That we are, we are just influenced. Maybe yeah, we through are influenced. the TVs then, we watch, yes, the what yes, we watch, yes, we, yes. what we read. Yes. Their life, now we are trying to copy their lives. Yes. Uh, do, uh, do you to think add that? on that, yes. okay, nowadays people come into relationships without even, you see the steps where you, there's courtship, there's mm -hmm. everything. Yeah, people just go into relationships, then pop, there's a kid. And then when the kid is involved, they are not sure whether they want to get married, then mm. they split. Can you talk of something of men Kuruka Mimba? Kuruka Mimba Pia Wanaruka Sana. And I was wondering if I, maybe did the, the girl impregnate him herself? Yeah, yeah but now they, no, they doubt when they Ruka. Oh. They say that maybe there was some man. You know, it wasn't me. Uh, yeah, you know, there's a message I read in your phone the other day of a man <laughs> inviting you what it could be of that other man and all that. So. But you know, <laughs> Kukatiwa is normal. So yes, uh, I don't think that there is a man just because of me a text message. Mm. That's why there should be com communication in a relationship. You yes. need to communicate. Uh, you, if if you are transparent enough, yes. you will tell him or her. Eh, we are mini text TV naive uh, to, <laughs> to, 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 to do away with that kushu kushuku thing. Just to respond because I'm a man. Yeah, yeah you said uh, this, <laughs> the, the topic of a man, Kuruka Mimba. Uh, yes. Uh, See, Onaume, th th this also has to take a, a process for a lady to understand mm -hmm. what kind of relationship are you having with this guy. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're in a relationship, there's situationship and a relationship. Mm -hmm. a relationship is that commitment that I've seen that now this is the lady I want to be with. Yes. So whatever happens, mm -hmm. I have her back. Yes. But you know, there's just something just happened. And you guys 
don't have a clear direction of whatever you have between you two. There, there's a guy who yes. was telling me that I thought the ball was mine until the kid was born. Fanani na sisi kabisa, fanani na sisi kabisa. Now that is the situation because they are now not trusted. Kavu mtoto na fanana na jirani. Maybe you want. Maybe fanani na weba, but na fanana na mimi. You just can't wait for the baby to automatically kufanana na wewe. But I think what should really happen is that. This is now to the ladies maybe who are watching and listening. Yes. You know, in an incident where a lady gets pregnant, the first thing that she should do is have a candid discussion with this guy. Yes. Avoid the text message and what have you at the end for you know. Utafanya mwanaume afeni tumali yako. Just have a candid discussion call him, tell him now this is the situation mm. and if you're done with school if you're in school you can still discuss now what's the way forward listen from him isn't don't it, just wait until it's still isn't it every man's dream to be a father why do you want to faint when t you are told you are going to be a father okay it, it's it's every man's dream to be a father mm -hmm. but you know when the time is when, when, when the time is right oh. so you see what ladies do some some of them that have interacted mm -hmm. I was a I've been a peer counselor as well in campus, uh, and you understand in campus, um, comrades get pregnant and whatever you yes. have to seek maybe my advice, So you get, maybe there was no proper communication. Maybe a lady, a lady will even stay for a month or maybe to, uh, to let the news out. You know, from that point, there will be mistrust. Because mm. the guy will, will be like, how old is this? And then they start calculating days and what have you. And then that, <laughs> that alone will just start. And by the way, when yeah. days are not adding up, Janet. Mm. Yes, you see. <laughs> you <decide. laughs> but you know, there is protection. There is measures to, to undergo if you don't want, if you're not ready to be a dad. Yes. So if you do some things, you, you need to expect the consequences. So you need to get yeah, yeah. get a solution at this level. Mm -hmm. First, Nyakoi talk of, talked of influence from other countries. So we should not copy other people blind, especially the negative things. And now Janet is talking about unwanted pregnancies. I think we should avoid this in the first instance. If there's anything we can do to avoid getting unwanted pregnancy. There's no unwanted child. Children are not good. Uh, they are brought by God. Uh, somebody of faith like me can argue so. But now there are things we can do to avoid getting early. Because you said you, Nyakoi said you can faint if you are told if a news has been broken to you that <laughs> you are going to be a dad soon. <laughs> <That is laughs> and Janet is talking of immorality. There are steps that are not followed so that somebody becomes a father when they didn't expect. And I think it is worse to be a mother when you didn't expect. It is worse than being a father. What do you think? It is, okay, being a mother is, is a blessing. Uh -huh. And once the baby is conceived, there is an attachment. So uh -huh. I don't think there is any mother who can say that it is worse. If you didn't plan it, namtu ameruka. But you know there is nothing you can do and you can't... You, the, it has already happened. No, you are going to be with this with, yeah, with this kid for nine yeah, months. Yeah, you will, you will, you will and do then after everything hours. that that is I there think, possible. Um, lack of support, maybe from whatever you're trying to put uh, the question you're, tra you're, you're trying to pose to her. I think uh, lack of support is now what makes uh, women are naturally yes. emotionally weak. And then you know with the pregnancy, pregnancy comes with a lot of things. I don't know that you have experience. Mm -hmm. You have a child? Yes. I've children. Do you see uh, the I'm mood swings and yeah? <laughs> <laughs> the mood swings from ladies and you know they, they lose appetite, they lose taste in different things. Mm -hmm. So you see now the, during that process you need it's somebody difficult. who is loving, yes. somebody who is caring. And then now you know when a man rookers you and then you go back to your parents and then now from the from your parents ask you who is responsible. Mm -hmm. You cannot tell them who is responsible because the person responsible yes. don't want to be responsible yeah. for that. In yeah. you so that, that now brings even a long depression out to the man. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Brana was reading some research yeah. that said, Janet has just said here that there is some emotional attachment that comes within mother and baby, yeah. immediately they are conceived. That the same attachment can be between a father and a kid, even before, even immediately after conception, if you are presently there. Yes. So you can see the emotional torture that a child goes through by getting attached to one person. Yeah. Yes. So there's that whole thing of you are not 
there's something missing. Mm. Uh, is there a way we can fix this, even if you are away? Yeah, I think um, one of the ways that we can fix this, um, when you get a child with a lady, or a lady get a child with a man, it's not a guarantee that we're going to get married. Mm -hmm. Maybe we would figure out and see after a while that we are not meant to be, we are not co so compatible mm -hmm. as we thought we are. Mm -hmm. But that should not now affect the, the baby or the child that we have. So what, the, what a man can do, because precisely, you know, be, before a, a child turns 18, yes. it's the responsibility of the mother. So what the, what the father can do then, can make visits or in his schedule can, uh, you know, he can schedule himself, maybe if it's the weekends, he's spending with the child, mm. you can come pick the child. Nilisoma me mahali ati, kama una gari wesi wa baby daddy, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. You can just come. What about the school? What do baby daddy ni watu wakona, ni watu wakona magari. Na wenye wana sasa nini? Wenye baba mtote. But still it makes sense. Um, so, um, a father or a, if a father can schedule, maybe if it's weekends, he's free, can go get his son or daughter, spend the weekend with them, maybe move around, take them to playgrounds, and then mm. that, that bonding is important for the child. Yeah? yeah. And then when he comes back, the mother is there. So this child will not have baggages, one that is raised single, single parented. You no, know? because when you're a single parent and you're raising a kid alone, you're, you're also busy with your work. So it means this child will not get time for anyone. Time for you and time for the father. You know, see, Janet but you is know. suggesting mm -hmm. that we should be going, taking the kids yes, out yes, so yes. that there's yeah. that bonding. But there's instances the, the, where, yeah. where there's bitterness. There's bitterness. Between so you, you deny the, the, the dad, dad the access <laughs> to the child. <laughs> Bring it on. Yes, that's why there should be communication. And I uh, think the parents should not use their differ indifferences that that they may affect the kid they if you hate him maybe the, yes how can you pretend do you pretend in the presence of the child that you things are okay you can try and pretend <laughs> <laughs> for the sake of the kid that's what i'm saying you should make decisions Brian, do, you, do you support the, the pretense um <laughs> yes you know sometimes you have to pretend to make things look right because you, you don't you are raising somebody who yeah. is who is coming up. You don't want to show him the negative side of the world. Mm. You don't want to show him, oh, when he grows up to age, he will understand what life is and uh, how to go about life. But you know, when he's young, he should not know that you two don't get along. Mm -hmm. I, I so. want you to get practical with this. Yes. We quarreled the whole <laughs> night. Mm. We were exchanging the Words. whole night. You are a dog. You are a what? So the whole night you've exchanged and then in the morning you meet and the kid is there. So you go hug her, or what do you do? Can you practicalize this pretense that things are okay? Are you, are you talking about people who are together or people who are not people together? People who are not together, who are not together but yes. tomorrow you are going to meet Thanks. your kid, your, your boy or your girl, but the previous night you had a quarrel. And it's not the right time to meet the kid. So you cancel, you cancel the yes, meeting? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then talk over the issue first, because you know, the, the, the kid, you should not expose that child to the violence that you two can have uh. in the exchange of words. And then, you know, one thing that most people don't understand about kids, yes. kids are very brilliant. Mm. And the fact that they're bri the reason why they're so brilliant, maybe, is the fact that their brains are, are still empty. So yes. when, you're, when you're still a kid, there's nothing on, in your mind. So it's even if I, I throw an insult, that sticks to, to his mm. mind or her mind. Mm. So. That is something that the parents should really take caution of, the words that you speak around your kid. So, w w so when you get, you don't get along with your baby daddy or baby mama over the night, and then you want to come and see the kid, you know, to avoid uttering things that they might affect the upbringing of the kid and what have you, then just cancel or postpone or talk first your issues. That you are scheduled a meeting. I, I want you to dandy that. You are scheduled <laughs> a meeting, but you quarrel. So you cancel this meeting. I, I don't think I can cancel because even in marriages, people argue, people fight. Yes. But do you bring those indifferences in front of your kids? No, you don't. You, you go somewhere and sort out your issues then. In the presence of the kids, you are just normal, you're good, you're, you're loving, you <laughs> see? <laughs> so I don't think you should cancel unless it's just, I don't know, it's worse. Yeah. yeah. The, the, Shit happens, as somebody says. Everywhere. Shit happens, yeah. shit happens in everywhere. all relationships, <laughs> whether it's marriage or maybe you are separate. Mm. People argue. I asked you of uh, those who deny their 
kids opportunity to meet their dads because they have bad bloods. What do you think? Jan? I don't think that's right. Because uh, whether you deny the father or not, he will still remain the father forever. Mm. Yes, it doesn't change. It should just be there. Yes, and there's no need of introducing the kid to someone else and you want them to call the, that other person the father. And, and that's yet, another big and thing. And yet the father is still there. <laughs> there, <laughs> are kids, there are kids out here, Byron, <laughs> yes. that have been shown more than four people as their father. <laughs> <laughs> meet daddy. <laughs> and then after some time, meet daddy. Um, and yeah. then sometimes, till yeah. the kid doesn't know who is daddy and who is not um, daddy. Yesterday, I was watching NTV, um, that is, <laughs> when Churchill show, when Nazizi was having a talk with Muchachila, and this I'm just going to quote from her what she said. You know, you know she she also experienced this extramarital, you know, relationship. She got a, a kid out of marriage, and she was explaining that the kid is called Safari. She was explaining that she was very careful. She has been very careful not to expose men to her child, because mm. she don't want the baggage of you meeting this guy and then they break up. Now the kid has to know to and know the person, know another person as yeah, the father. You understand? Yeah, yeah. That. So what? I think ladies should really do, especially single mothers, single mother. That is, if you're not together with your, make sure that your relationship, until it's certain, that is when you can introduce your kid to, to the guy. The time is really on our neck because he started late. Yeah. But tell us what you, how often you think a father and a extramarital kid should meet. Um, the bond should be maybe every every week. I mean. You can oh, every weekend. It, every weekend. They meet every yeah. weekend yeah, every week. and catch up. Yes, yes. Uh, catch up because you know the mother maybe has been with the kid throughout the week. So maybe even the, the weekends or maybe on Saturday or maybe pick the, the kid on Friday and then return him on Sunday if that is if it's comfortable with the mother. Do you think so also? Yeah, true. It, and and to add on that, the the parent who is maybe absent, maybe the mom is the one who is not around or the dad. I think should create time even to go to school school and see what the child is doing, performing, talk to the teachers. Yeah, so that if you know how your, your child is, you can easily get along with the child. Uh, yeah. Uh, because of time, let's talk finances. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a trend in this country. Yes. <laughs> there are people who are living ladies living entirely on child support from the dad, eh? yes. that they have left working. What they know is that dad should send such amount of money. So there are two situations, dad who don't send, yeah. and then uh, ladies who entirely depend on that, they don't, don't do anything yes. else. I don't know who camera is on, on Janet. Janet, yes. can you comment on that? I don't think a lady should depend entirely because anything can happen. If the, okay, if, God forbid, if the dad sleeps and never wakes up, what will you do? Mm -hmm. Then, on the other hand, the, the, at least if, if you are a nice dad, it's not a must you support your, your, your baby mama, but it is the right thing to do. I think you should support for the sake of the kid. On your estimation, how much if you should a dad send monthly? Good enough Just to make the, the, the child comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on the social status of the dad and the kid. Um, yes. I'll respond to this question is, um, first, you love to look, you know, uh, there's a situation where, for instance, I get a kid with Janet, and she gets remarried. She's remarried, I mean, or she gets married, yeah, because we were not married. And then you see, in that situation, it's entirely on my kid, because she has a husband and she has a house that, you know, can take care of her needs. So my responsibility will be only on our kid that we got together. Mm. So I will know maybe if it's school and if it's clothing, you know. You know, nowadays, these are things that you can do, or shop, you can shop them and bring them. Mm. But you see, w when she's not married, she's single as she is. So it's mean, to some point, um, she's not, she should not suffer because of me, you know. So I, for the, for the, for the you know, for the well-being of the kid, I love to even pay the accommodation where they stay. Because yes. if she's not married, yeah, mm. that is. Mm. If she's not married, then I'll have to take care of where they stay, because that is also where the, the kid will also have mm. to stay. Mm -hmm. then, you know, if I don't give her enough finances, or maybe. We know the problem with the, the, the ladies that we see nowadays, they have a quote. You know, this happens <laughs> when, 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 you have a, when you have a child with this lady, and then she notices that you're married. So she will want to live the life 
you that live you live with your wife, yes. which is not true, which, which should not be the case. I wish I had enough time to discuss how you should relate now with the husband <laughs> of your baby mama, because I think it's a whole mess again. Yeah. Imagine you staying with a woman and a kid, but this kid has a father somewhere yes, yes. who really wants to be seeing this kid. <laughs> then I describe this mess and how you think this relationship should be. Like your husband, I'm not saying you have a child outside, but how do you want your husband and your baby daddy to relate? I think <laughs> before you get married to that husband, he should clearly understand that you have a baby outside, you see, and accept the child. So it's between the two of you to decide. You should, it should be a decision made by the couple mm -hmm. whether you need support from the other one or maybe you can just take care of your things to, to avoid that collusion. But there are men who are just erratic. They don't want, they want their kids. I don't care who marries you, but <laughs> so and so is my child. So whatever I want, whenever I want him, I'll come and see him. Okay, you, you, you have to have an appointment to see your kid because this is another relationship. You don't want to ruin this relationship. <laughs> yeah, so it's a, a matter of communication. Yeah. I think this will depend on the man or the man. You know, you, the man, uh, if, if the lady is remarried or if she's married now and we have a child together and maybe the she's so certain that this is the guy who I'll live with for the rest of my life. Mm. Then it's also appropriate for, for this man to, under, the, the man to understand that now this lady has a child mm. and she has somebody else, no, that is not me. And you know, because I'll, it, they'll be staying together, that means this child will also grow up thinking now this, is, this might be the dad. Mm. So you know, the, this is a discussion now that should come between the mother and the father, who said the, the baby. Because sometimes, you know, this, this thing might ruin the relationship that is, uh, that is ongoing. Because when the dad, when this toxic, I want to call him toxic in quote, the guy that is outside, eh? yes. when he wants to come to, to, this, to the life of this kid, maybe this kid also, maybe the, the, the current dad is fond of him. How should I put it? The father who, who is not the biological father. Yes, is fond maybe of now this, fond of this, of of this, this kid. Uh, but now this children are likable. Yeah, yes. children are likable. Yeah. And now the... They, they, they live happily and they stay well and, you know, this are the, the, first, the biological father wants to come in. I think that's an issue where, when, I think when your baby, get, when your baby mama gets married, it's now time that you should, if, if he has the right guy, he should give them some space. You, yeah. as, as we wind up, yeah. how can you feel when now you are this other man? And your, your wife tells you that I'm, go, I'm taking the kid to see the dad in his house, how, how, can you hand, how can you feel? Like your wife tells you that I'm going to my baby daddy to, to give him the kid. He wants to see the kid. Uh, no, can't you feel insecure? No man, yeah, and every, every man will feel insecure. You know, for people who have had that relationship, anything can happen. It's like a spark, <laughs> a spark and things can, can turn down. So <laughs> You can accompany you know, them. So yeah, maybe I will accompany them or, or, or all the same, the guy can be coming and then, or they can be meeting in a, you know, not at this place, you know, just somewhere central. Meet at a central place or the guy can be coming and picking the child and that's okay. You're going 15 child, seconds, yes. talk to that man who has a kid out there and then another 15 seconds, talk to that lady. This is the camera. Okay. Um, so, to the gentleman, wanaume, kama uko hapo na kuna mtoto inje. It's, it's, not, it's not an offense or it's not a crime to have a child outside a marriage or if not married. But be responsible, know what they eat, we'll know what they drink, know what they clothe, know where they stay. Just be responsible because that's now your responsibility, that's your trademark. And for the ladies, don't use this as an opportunity to make money out of, you know, that will uh, again spoil the relationship. And then let your kid have, um, have time with the dad because that is also important in their up upbringing. They will hate you for, you know, sheltering your, your baby daddy outside their life. So if you know what's the best for your kids, they need both of you because both of you are the parents, so have time for them. Thank you. Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. Do the same. To baby daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Do not ruin this other relationship <laughs> in, the, in the name of 
wanting your wanting kid. kid. <laughs> yeah. But you with communication you can you can find a way of meeting your kid. To the to husband. The, to the yes. Be supportive to your wife. <laughs> <laughs> In this baby daddy. Yes. Thing. And <laughs> just you can just take your, your wife or maybe the good thing is the baby daddy can just come and pick the kid and go have fun then bring the kid back. You've not talked to the lady. The lady. Yes. I think ladies should be wise and and before you select someone, make sure you make the right decision. I'm giving you the final statistics. Mm -hmm. Is that most of A students are students who get the support of both dad and mom. So to the man, please don't bring somebody here on earth and neglect him. Be there for some support. Let the, and it's not all about money. It's about your presence so that the kid knows that my dad is who and who. There's nothing traumatizing as seeing other children calling somebody dad and then you don't have somebody to call dad. So in the first place, avoid a situation that can make you have a kid outside marriage in all situations because it's always erratic, it's always problematic. So this, is, this has been why in the morning I've been very happy to have Byron and Janet in this conversation. They've shed light. It's been very nice. It's been very educative. And this is what happens when you watch Y254. So till next time, salute.